Hey guys, um, <clears throat> it's time. Um, welcome back. Uh, just wanted to make this quick vid to talk to you guys real quick about the situation that's happening in Uganda right now. Um, a few days, well, yesterday, when I woke up, um, I realized we had no water in the house. So, <laughs> it's a weird situation. Um, I don't know if you guys that live here in Uganda have experienced it before. I've never, so let me switch off the music real quick. So, yeah. Um, I woke up with no water in the house yesterday morning. So um, I, I asked around, you know, what do you do? I asked my neighbor. He said they were doing some road works around the area. And that's why um, I think they damaged or they messed with the pipes, the water pipes, um, in the underground water pipes that supply us the waters that come to our big tanks here at home. If, you, if you're from Africa, if you know anything about Uganda, you know that homes have water tanks. So... These guys that were doing roadworks, they messed up, they, they messed with some pipes and then they cut off the water. So we've been, some of our neighbours have literally gone a whole week with no water, but we didn't know. We had some reserves in our water tank, that's what we've been using for the last few days, but we, want, we didn't know that they had cut off the water. So yesterday morning I woke up, we had no water in the house, so I went and spoke to my neighbour. He was able to give us some water in some plastic jerry cans, so that's what I've been using. But luckily, somebody really, you know, cool to me. Um, she found a number for me to call, and these guys said um, they come to your home and they refill your water tanks. So hopefully, they just rang me on my like, on my other line. They're gonna come and refill our water tanks. So hopefully, everything's gonna be okay. When they show up, I'll show them to you. But um, yeah, that's the situation just out here with no water. <laughs> No running water in the house anyway, so no water coming through the ta um, the taps, uh, shower, everything. So hopefully it's going to be sorted soon. Let me just show you what I'm talking about when I, when, what I'm using now with the, when I'm showering, brushing my teeth and all of that. Plastic jerry cans. Welcome to, Uland Welcome to Uganda, actually. I was about to say London because I'm used to saying that, but welcome to Uganda. This is what I'm using for water right now. We'll put water in the jerry, um, these plastic cans and that. And yeah, that's what I'm using to shower, brush my teeth, all of that good stuff. So yeah, welcome to Uganda. This is my shower right now. Let me just show you guys. Look, I go to turn on the shower. Yep. You hear that little noise? Yep. That's water language saying, yo, no water for you, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so no water in the shower right now. So yeah. Anyway, let me wait for these guys to come and we'll see. So, normally, this, this small tap here, in my compound, is kind of like, this is where they check the water meter. You know, these guys that um, work for water, National Water here in Uganda, they come here to check your water meter to know how much money you're going to be paying for a month or whatever. So, normally, this small tap is always running. Luckily, it's got water for some reason. I don't know how long it's going to run for. But we've got no water in the house, so yeah, that's weird when the water's running outside and not in, in the house. So, yeah, let me show you guys my water tank. That is my water tank up there, as you can see, it's right up there, it's empty at the moment. So, they're gonna come and refill that. Those, those are my neighbors' water tanks. He's got two, one small one and one big one, I think. We're definitely gonna get one of the big ones, but at the moment, that's our water tank there. Yeah. And my dog house right there, she's sleeping right now. The water is there. There are the straps. They're gonna connect it to the car. Then we're gonna have water, water tank out here. Finally, well then, finally the water is here. My guy's gonna hook it up. You, what do you need? You, can you get through that, or is it too small? Yeah.
drop goes all the way up to the tank. Now I'm not there, hooking it up. There you go. There's the water pressure coming through there. Boom. There, now I'm refilling the tank. We're out here getting water now. Welcome to Uganda. When the water goes, you can get people to refill it for you. Yeah, my man spilled some, but it's all good. The car's right at the, at the front over there. We're getting water. We're out here. Yep. God damn. All right, so now they're refilling the tanks outside. The tank outside. The water's starting to come, but look how dirty the water is. There. It's crazy. It's brown so I think he's gonna take a little while for it to clean up but yeah at least we've got running water but you know I don't know if it's, it's clean enough for me to shower but yeah we've got running water now let's see hmm not yet not in the shower not yet so we'll wait and see maybe later for the shower there we go all right okay guys so i've showed you the process of these guys bringing water to my tank they pumped it up they filled it up they've told me it's gonna take it will last us for like a week or so hopefully the the water system would have been sorted out and we'll uh we'll be getting more water uh that, that'll be that we're paying for from national water so these guys have done a great job i've asked them how much it is and it's going to be just 150k to fill up some water in my tank so i'm about to go outside and pay these guys they've done a great job yeah so living without water for like a day or so <laughs> welcome to uganda right the money is here 150k let's go pay the guys for the water all right guys so you just saw me paying the guy for the for the water um, two of them came and done an amazing job they refilled my tank now we've got running water in the house um, yeah so we're cool so um, yeah if you're in Uganda the reason why I make these videos for you guys is that um, if you if you run into a problem like I did you know if you if your water stopped running uh, there's always you know ways around it so you know somebody you know really special to me she gave me the number you know to call these guys and they came and they done an amazing job they refilled my tank so if anything happens to your water you can there's these guys who work with water national water you can call them and they can come and refill your tank so they just done that for us here water's running again i just paid them as you, you saw um and it wasn't even that much money for the water um they refilled my tank for 150k but the price depends on how uh, how big your tank is depends on the size of your tank so my tank is not as big it's not it's not even 5k whatever because they measure them in you know in different sizes so if your tank is it's like 10k or whatever and you need more water then they might charge you a little bit extra but mine was um my price was 150k because my tank is not the biggest so it depends on how big your tank is so yeah like the vid share the vid I always want to give you guys, you know, important information of things um, when I travel. So, so that if you run into something similar, you know exactly what to do. That's why I make these vids. So, subscribe, share the vids, like the vids. Straight from Uganda. Catch you in the next one. Brrrah.